Let's look at how we can calculate the percentile rank for each of a series of scores. Here we have a data set with 100 workers at a lumber company. We've got their worker ID, the number of hours that they work, their education, their earnings, etc. Now suppose we wanted to calculate the percentile rank for the number of hours that each employee worked. So we've got the hours here and it looks like 70 might be high, 35 looks lower than average. We want to know for each person what percentile rank would they be in. So if that means if they were in the 99th percentile, that would mean that 99% of the people have scores below them. If they're in the 5th percentile, that means only 5% of the people have scores below them. So we want to calculate the percentile rank for each person in, the, uh, uh, in our, our list of employees here. The way that we can do this is we're going to create another column. So we can just type in next to our existing table. And we're going to uh, call this, what should we call this? We should call it a uh, percentile rank of number of hours. Let's call it that. So percentile, percentile rank of hours. Okay, so we've got that. We made it a little wider. We can see a little more what's happening there. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert an Excel command. So we start off with equal, and then we type in the uh, uh, command name. And what the command that we're using is percentile rank exclusive. So we do per cent rank dot exc that's the command that we want to use percent rank dot exc so that's going to look at the percentile of somebody uh, somebody's score the percent below the person in uh, question and we click x there now it asks for some some um, numbers that we have to. First is the array, and those are all the numbers that we're going to uh, be concerned about. And so it's going to be all of these, the usual hours worked, and it's going to go from C6 all the way down. And I'm doing shift down arrow to select all of these. I want to go all the way down to the end of the list, which stops at 105. So that's, that's our array of values that we're looking at. And it's, uh, oh, it's, it's giving us the title, The Usual Hours Worked. So it's going from C6 to C105. Now this is a, a way that it abbreviates the um, the table contents. Let's actually type in C6 to C105. Is that what it was? Did it go down to 105? Um, let me check again. Yeah, it went down to C105. Now, uh, not enough, enough arguments. That's okay. We still have to put in some some stuff after a comma. But what I want to do is that we need to make sure that since we're going to use this command in other cells, it's going to be in all these other commands, we need to put the dollar signs in front of the C and in front of the 6, and that tells Excel that we're always going to use these uh, cells, C6 to C105, for all of our calculations. It's not going to change when we change cells, because when we move a cell down, it tends to move all of the other numbers uh, in the calculation down as well. So our first, our array goes from C6 down to C05, and we're putting the dollars in front of the C and the dollars in front of the 6, so that those stay the same for um, everybody. Now, X is going to be the number, the score that we're going to uh, uh, calculate this for. So we are looking for the usual hours. So that is going to be C6. Now it's at aha. Is it going to be the whole column? Nope, it's just going to be C6. So I'll just type in C6 since it wanted to give me the whole column rather than just the one cell. 
there's no dollar signs there because when we when we calculate the percentile rank in like uh, this row here, row 11, we're going to use uh, C11. So this, without the dollar signs, that symbol will change for everything. And then it asks for the number of significant figures, which isn't going to be important. Let's just say 4 right now. Uh, we can put anything in there. We press Enter, and we get a percentile rank for everything in a decimal number. Now, decimal numbers aren't too useful for percentile ranks. Percentile ranks are usually expressed in percentages. So let's select the entire column, and then under Home, we go to the number format, and we're going to choose Percentage. And now we have everybody's percentile rank and percentage. And so if somebody works at 40 hours, they're in the 9.90 per percentile because there's an awful lot of people that work 40 hours and there's not many that work below 40 hours. 35 is a 1.98 percentile. 70 is a 97.02. In fact, let's, uh, let's look at these. Let's sort this by hours. So I do here. And we're going to do descending from highest to lowest. And so here we say have 72 hours. Let's, we can get rid of this. 72 hours is in the 99th percentile. 70 is in the 97th percentile. 70, 97. And all the way down, it shows what percentage of the workers work less hours than the one in question. Now, we've got a lot of decimal places there. We could reduce that if we'd like. Select the whole column, and we can choose this button that decreases the number of decimal places. We can do it two, and that gives just what percentile uh, each person is. The person that works 58 hours is in the 89th percentile. 50 hours, they're all in the 76th percentile. And that's how we've calculated the percentile rank for each of the scores in the table for the variable that interests us.